Hey, I have here another integral today. This one's from MIT 2023. I was so busy working on the old integration base, I didn't realize there was brand new problems. So let's get started with this. And we're looking at problem four. We have the integral of one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth times one minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fourth dx. Okay, so we have a really long integral here and let's take a look and see what we can do with it. I think there's a lot of different ways. We could multiply it out. I think that would be kind of tedious if we just multiplied it out because then it would just be powerful. So it'd be easy, but it would just be slow. So let's see if we can find a way to manipulate these terms and make it a little easier on ourselves. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is over to the right here, we have a couple of algebraic identities that we can use. And you'll notice, now for this one, for x to the fifth minus one, you'll notice what we have over here, all this long-term of addition. And this is exactly this in the reverse order. And then this piece over here is exactly this, but again, I just reversed, the order's reversed right here. And there's not really anything special about x to the fifth here. We could create a similar thing, like this one will work, this first one will work for basically any polynomial bigger than exponent one, I think, or two. Um, but you'll notice because this has to have a root of one, so we can pull an x minus one out of this and get this. This is similar, but I think the power has to be odd to have this exact uh, pattern of the, the signs changing, okay? So what this does for us is it'll allow us for, for this piece to write it, just dividing here by x minus one, we can write this first part as x to the fifth minus one over x minus one. And then for the second one, we'll do basically the same thing and divide by an x plus one over here, and we have x to the fifth plus one over x plus one dx. And then we can just multiply these two things together. So we're gonna have, it's like a difference of squares. We're gonna have x to the 10th minus one over x squared minus one dx. And then from here, we could do, we could do polynomial long division on this. But I think again, this looks pretty similar to what we have over here. We might be able to use the same kind of pattern. So what I'm gonna do is let's take a look at this separately. Okay, so looking at this and noticing that both our powers are even, I'm gonna do like a little substitution, just algebra, not doing anything. We're not doing a um, integral substitution. So then if I call my t x squared, I can rewrite this as t to the fifth minus one over t minus one. But just with that one substitution, then we see that this is really exactly this when we divide it by x minus one, t to the fifth minus one over t minus one has to be this thing just in t. So this whole thing is gonna be t to the fourth so all we need to do is take this polynomial, put it back into x, and rewrite it in our integral. So now we just have this long expression, but it's all back in x. And so all we're left to do now is just use the power rule on this. It's going to be pretty easy, but we're just going to write it all out. So we're going to have x to the 9th over 9 plus x to the 7th over 7 plus x to the 5 over 5 plus x cubed over 3 plus x plus c. That's it, it was MIT 2023. Pretty good problem, so we get more of these coming. Look out for that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.